Facing eviction tonight, Michelle, do it! Nick, ah! and Vanessa. You love me, I know it. The end of Big Brother is only two days away, but for two of these housemates, it all ends tonight. Oh. Who goes, you decide. two more of his tenants. Now, we've got a crowd here who are rowdier than a Tony Blair book signing. They're ready to meet their evicting meets. And the good news, tonight's another double! <laughs> Michelle, Nick and Vanessa are all scrapping to avoid your votes. Uh, only one of them can make it to the final. The other two will face their final curtain tonight. But before you get the numbers to dial, why don't we catch up on the news from that house. It's Vanessa Feltz! It's Vanessa Feltz! Your biggest idol! No! I'm staying. So I'm hoping that I'll have an enjoyable experience this time. And I'm hoping that this time I'm made of sterner stuff and I'll be able to withstand you in a way that I couldn't last time. For today's task, headaches must attend to remain silent whilst facing a variety of uncomfortable challenges. Go on, more. You're going to get a lot more. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh. Come on. Hey. He's, a fucker, He's really wound me up. Fucking kidding me. Oh. Oh. Come on, boy! Scream! Oh, oh, shit. The First nomination's Nicky because it is very sticky. <laughs> ah. I was trying to mind Vanessa. Well, weaker. My second nomination's got to be for Chantel. Nick now. I'm nominating Michelle. Nick. My second nomination is Nick because we just don't stick. Welcome to the Felt Show. <laughs> I'm a grown woman. Why can't I stop throwing tantrums? You just have to let it all out and then you feel better. Who is she? You've just celebrated 60 years in showbiz and you know. Oh, me <laughs> Who would imagine you got divorced four years ago, you two? I think we're... we're... Oh. Are you all right? Are you all right? Can we get the Kleenex, please, from the runner? Thank you very much, oh. indeed. In my drawers is a dictaphone. I want you to get amongst them lot and yeah. record them bad-mouthing each other. If somebody comes up to you and asks you to have a bitchy conversation, yeah. right, does it get more obvious than that? Or do I have to start waving around a dictaphone? You've let me down good and proper. I thought I could trust you. You must wear the treat costume until further notice. All right, cool. Oh! The treat also wants you to know that this is just the start of your wrath. Oh, my God, it's like Mickey's feet. The, the autumn wood collection will be a hit, but me, uh-uh. Our three nominees found out that they were facing the chop this week at a glamorous cocktail party. But tonight, do you want Vanessa on the rocks? Or would you prefer Michelle shaken and stirred? Or are you in the mood for a tea Nicolada? <laughs> Here are the numbers to dial. So if it's Michelle, call 09 0 
031. To evict Nick, call 09011 323 027. 09011 323 027. Or to evict Vanessa, call 09011 323 033. 09011 323 033. Calls cost 50p from the BT landline. Calls from other networks may be higher. And for mobiles, will cost considerably more. 15 pence from each call will be donated to charity. Lines close really soon, so please get calling and dial those numbers very, very carefully. OK, we've got time now for our first catch-up from the house. And after barking at the wrong tree yesterday, Victor oh, he gets the cold shower treatment! <laughs> Dear 15, 9.42am. Chantelle and Vanessa are in the garden. My mum's been dead 15 years, just coming up, coming up yeah. to the exact day. And um, I used to see her about twice a day. Mm. I used to speak to her on the telephone about seven times a yeah. day if there was nothing to say and about yeah. 27 if there was something to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when she passed away, honestly, I, was, I, 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 I wasn't sure how I'd even be able to carry on yeah. living, really. Some people, I don't think they, like, sometimes I feel like I'm such a baby, like how, mu like, how much I need my mum and, do you know what I mean? But I just... I don't know. It's just how you are, I isn't think it's, it? Yes, it's how it's mm. normal for your family. Look, if you're Nick and you were sent away to boarding school at the age of seven mm. to be completely independent from seven years old, yeah. obviously you're going to have a very different la relationship yeah. with your parents, aren't you? Mm. That could be mum and daughter outside, look. Couldn't it? Which one's the mum, which one's the daughter? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Vanessa's <laughs> is good fun, isn't she? Yeah. She's all right. She is really all so right. If you were going to she's the gym at four in the morning, she parted at four in the yeah, morning. She would. And if you were going to go up at six o'clock and go to the gym, she'd go with you. Yeah. yeah. She's up for a good old laugh, isn't it? Yeah. So. I can't wait to have children. I really think it was, it, it was the, the absolute pinnacle of my life. Really? Yeah, definitely. Mm. I've made lots of mistakes in life and lots of things I wish I hadn't done or choices I wish I hadn't made. But I think my absolute worst choice of all, which mm. is by you know, eclipses all the other mistakes I've made, was only to have two children. Really? And I did it for all the good, sort of good, sensible reasons. Like, you know, it's expensive to have yeah. more, and, you, you know, you can't fit them in a car, and, you know, mm. if you want to pay for private school fees, you can't do it for more than two, and all those good reasons. Yeah, which um, are real sensible reasons. You know, reasons. sensible reasons. Yeah. And then my mum died, so you can imagine having a baby without my mum. Exactly. Then my husband left, so who was I going to have a baby with? He'd gone. Yeah. And then I, was, then I was thinking all these sensible things like, well, I can't get pregnant by this particular boyfriend because I'm not sure whether it will really last. And in that particular thing, I wish I'd been less sensible mm. <laughs> and more foolish and just gone for it. Really, like Ulrika did. Honestly. Well, I'm sorry you feel like that. That's, just, well, yeah. you know, look, some people at my stage would be thinking, oh, isn't it great? You've got all this independence. You know, mm. you can do exactly what you like. I know what you mean. And sometimes independence can be really boring. And lonely. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, sometimes it's like, <laughs> I wish I could be responsible for something because I'm really bored of being independent. Exactly. <laughs> 10.31 a.m. Victor, Brian and Nicky are in the bathroom. Yesterday, Victor failed a mission set by the Tree of Temptation. He is unaware that, as part of the tree's wrath, He'll have cold showers for the rest of his time in the house. Why is that freezing cold? Is it cold? Yeah. Oh, it's a bit weird. Why is it cold? The one, the handheld one's freezing. Oh, you've got to point it towards the door. Left. Put it left. What the hell is going on? Can I put your dressing gown on and let me in? Oh, I've got a feeling oh, I know what's going excuse, on. Oh, I excuse, Brian. Oh, can I come in? Yeah, come in. Oh, they're doing it to me on purpose. They're doing it to me on purpose. Oh, you, yeah. Oh, because of what happened yesterday. Yeah. You're joking. No, that is freezing. That should be harsh. Yeah, that's the hottest. Nick is in the diary room. Now, how are you getting on with your fellow housemates? I think I'm getting on fine. I really like Preston. I thought I wouldn't. And I thought that we were as polar opposite as a kangaroo and a polar bear. And what I'd read and him walking off shows, I just thought perhaps he's you know, a petulant, spoiled uh, musician. Um, but out of all the housemates left, definitely Preston uh, and definitely Victor, I would seek out and see again. Um, because they, to me, uh, are everything. <laughs> no. 
they, they, they to me are good people. Vanessa and Michelle are in the closet. Are you, are you glad that you did it in the first place? What, you mean six years ago? Yeah, yeah I mean, I've got no regrets. I mean, at the end of the day, it would, if I hadn't, where would I, I don't even know where I would be because I always wanted to move out of Newcastle, but I didn't really have the first step to do it, do you know mm. what I mean? Mm. I mean, obviously, doing Big Brother the first time bought me my, got me on the property ladder, bought yeah. me my first house, and yeah. so where would I be? Like, obviously, I'd be somewhere, I'd be doing mm. something, but, yeah. yeah. D um, Vic Victor said, and I th I'm, I'm sure he wasn't the only one, he thought that you might be much more, you know, busy what? and boobs naked out. and boobs I've out. Grown and... Up. I don't even <laughs> sunbathe topless on the beach. I just don't do it. So how could that? Because that's a big change. Because you know couldn't what? wait to whop them out before, could you? Oh no, it's because my mum always just say, "Well, don't worry about it. Boobs is boobs, yeah." Yeah. But um, when I think when I got them done, they become these sexual objects. Mm. Now it's like, do you know, like if I went topless, I'd feel a bit rude because it's like <laughs> they're a bit. Do you know what a I mean? A bit like, rude. Yeah, a bit rude. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little girl in the like the whole it's point. You get to get them out and you feel no, a bit I rude. Know. Everyone else feels rude and that's the, I know. That's the whole thing. Maybe it is, but I just... <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I do it like for um, pictures and stuff, but like it's because I'm meant to. And, Did like, your fiancé say this time, look, don't? Oh. No, nah, he would never. If I was the kind of person that did that, yeah. then... He would be fine with it. And does he mind about the topless shoots? Nah, he thinks that's good. Yeah. He thinks, well, because at the end of the day, Vanessa, like, yeah. I'm studying to become a hypnotherapist like yeah. him at the moment. Yeah. But until then, like, I don't make, like, yeah, a gonna... huge amount of money, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. if I can, like, do, like, some pictures or if I can get a job, do you know what I mean? Like, doing something, then it's good. Mm. I just want to clarify that Michelle wasn't double tonguing her hair. She was uh, had a double sided brush, so it's brush and then straighteners. Because I thought, oh, that's a crime for the hair, but she's yeah, it's okay. Anyway, lines are closed. Whoop whoop. Uh, so, Nick. If you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Michelle. No naked jacuzzi myth. And Vanessa. Fuck off. Anyway, they've all had their say. But now you've had yours, and two of them will be out this very night. Find out who later. But for now, though, I'll see you after the break. Big Brother's all time best bits. Freedom skincare for spot prone skin. It's not about what life brings to you. It's what you bring to life. Just pour a Guinness. You bring it to life. I like him a lot. Long distance. A relationship. Going the distance is a date movie with real bite. I really want to come out and see you. It's a breath of fresh air. <laughs> that came in so fast I didn't know where to go. Going the distance. I like blinking, I do. Get in. Helen! <laughs> With Orange Panther, you get internet, sat-nav, unlimited text and email. It's like having an army of mini use. Professional you to deal with the boss's email about Monday morning's pre-meeting about Thursday's meeting. Flirty you. A spicy little message to the missus like your Don Juan de Texto. Down with the kids you, cos I'm liking that pic on your blog. And homing pigeon you, who knows where you are, wherever you are. Internet, sat-nav, unlimited text and email with Panther. More from Orange, for you. Sainsbury's offers value where it matters, and with 842 half-price products from us, that could be a half-price family shop for you. Fiona, if you live by the sword, you die by the sword.
doing things differently leads to something exceptional. Absolute vodka. <laughs> Don't worry. She tells it again in an hour. You're... You, from the future. Yeah. And guess what? You quit. <sighs> How? One cigarette at a time. With these. Nicotin minis. They release their full dose three times faster than gum. So I never have another cigarette? You do have seven fags and a Cuban cigar at Julia's 30th, but you get there. Better go. Hot date with Pablo. Pablo? Quit one cigarette at a time. Nicotin minis. You can get there. Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Where did you find her? All right. Big session today. Reinventing the vacuum cleaner has been a personal obsession. It began with cyclone technology. For me, the fundamental answer to loss of suction. Then came our ball, a radical alternative to fixed wheels. Our mission is simple. Solve the obvious problems, whatever it takes. Spot prone skin. Welcome back to Ultimate Big Brother! Okay, one of tonight's nominees, Vanessa, says that she felt like the hostage Terry Waite after her last day in that house. She lasted three nights. He was held hostage for a hundred. No. He was held hostage for 1,763, chained to a radiator. This time, though, she's managed an incredible five nights in captivity. She's done well. And tonight, you could have negotiated the release of either her, Nick, or Michelle, and there was no need to get the UN involved. Anyway, let's see how our captives are bearing up, shall we? One or three p.m. Housemates have been gathered for today's task. Housemates, please welcome the stars of this year's smash hit movie, Street Dogs 3D, and finalists of Britain's Got Talent, Flawless. Oh! Seventeen PM. For today's task, housemates are forming the dance troupe Flawed. How should I wear my cap? Do I look like I'm trying to be young? Well, don't we all? Look at me. Michelle oh. has her sideways. I hate it because I've got I could just wash my right. hair. No, I just look like mm. or what about like that? Oh my shit, it doesn't really matter, does it? I'm gonna look wank. Whichever way. 
Housemates will audition for the role of lead dancer before devising their own routine inspired and assisted by Flawless. Apparently you've got to make the dance up for your audition. Really? We have to make up a dance for the, for the audition. For the whole thing? Mm -hmm. Shit. It's audition time for the housemates. The first hopeful to face judges Marlon and Chris from Flawless is Brian, a 32-year-old ex-trolley dolly from Ireland. Tell us about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, my name's Brian. I am 32. Yeah. Um, look, 28, obviously. Um, <laughs> I, I only dance when I'm drunk. But if I'm drunk, I can dance. So we need to get you, get you some drink. You need to get me some vodka. So what? Just... Please don't laugh. I can't look at you when I do it. I've got to turn around. <laughs> My eyes. Yep. Yeah, that's Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, boys. Thank you. Oh my god, that was mortifying. Open the goddamn door! He's more at home in a dinner suit than a shell suit. It's 42-year-old nasty Nick. Have you ever seen a giraffe dance? <laughs> 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 Who's your dancing idol? Dancing idol probably have to be someone like uh, Fred Astaire. I see a bit of um, waving going on here. Well, right, it's, yeah, I got a bad shoulder, so I'm trying to not really move it. I thought it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be um, very reserved. Yeah, I thought it was going to be crap. <laughs> <laughs> Next up to face the judges is 28-year-old ordinary boy Preston. So when do you see yourself in the next five years? Just as far away from the dance floor as I can <laughs> <laughs> I like Preston. Yeah, he's a cool dude. Very, very cool, cool dude. dude. <laughs> Next up is former Paris Hilton lookalike Chantel, 26, from Essex. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five years' time? As the main leader of Flawless. <laughs> <laughs> Ambitious, I like it. <laughs> okay. Oh, God, I can't go. I can't I can't go. I can't go. I can't I can't go. I can't I can't go. I can't 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 it's the Geordie Darcy Bustle, 29-year-old Michelle. How are you feeling? Nervous. Nervous? <laughs> <laughs> this is shocking. <laughs> so what would you say your dancing dream is? Just be able to get through it. That would be my dancing dream. <laughs> Good. So, what, so what, where did you learn those moves? Dance workout video. <laughs> ah, OK. Who is she? Who is she? She's 28-year-old Nikki from Watford. <laughs> I can't do it! Keep going. Have Keep going. I need to add that. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, my God! Come on. So I've shown you I can do a few little things, right. mm -hmm. and I can move, but I don't, I'm not dancing on my own in front of a panel. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So okay. it's good to know that you're a team player then. I'm a yeah? team player. Okay. Okay. She's gonna be um, a handful. I'm not. She <laughs> is. <laughs> really she's a handful. Hoping to bring a ray of sunshine is 43-year-old former weather girl Ulrika from Sweden. Are you okay? 
Well, I have a 16-year-old son who won't be able to show his face at school tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure if you make him proud. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey. Go, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I liked about you? You just let your inhibitions go out of the window. Out of the window and out exactly. that door. And so did my morals and my dignity. She's had a gastric ban, but can the judges stomach her? It's 48-year-old Vanessa from London. So my name is Vanessa Felt, and I'm responsible for P. Diddy's unique dancing style. Yeah. Justin and I are just like that. We're working together all the time. And Dizzy and I, we, you know, we, we, I mean, when he needs to bust a few moves, he comes to me, says, V, young VZ is what he calls me, actually. <laughs> he says, I've got no inspiration, man. I say, Diz, just look at me. And I was like, just give him a bit of, <laughs> and give him a bit of that. And he's like, all right, VZ. So how do you think you did? I think uh, you got just a little bit of that felt chemistry. Do you think so? Oh, I felt a lot of chemistry. Did you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's getting hot in here. Should we take off all our clothes? <laughs> I'm definitely I'm feeling though. young VZ. Young VZ. <laughs> <laughs> Put your V's up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the final tour twinkling hopeful is 29-year-old Victor from London. What famous person would you say you dance the most like? Like a black John Travolta from Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> ah. <laughs> How do you um, think you did? Boy, I thought it was electrifying, to be honest. I like the fact that you're not afraid to make yourself look silly. Yeah, yeah. why not? And that's, that's what it's all about. For me, you know, once you have that confidence and to be able to do anything silly, you can do anything. Thank you, man. Cool. That's nice one. And, uh, Call my agent, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Thanks, man. It's getting hot in here. Shall we take off all our clothes? There are so many ways to let us know what you think about Ultimate Big Brother. You don't need to write to us using a blackboard and talk like Vanessa or pass notes to us like Nick. No, you could actually use a computer or even a phone to send us a tweet or find us on Facebook. Uh, you can also head over to channel4.com forward slash Big Brother for, for the latest from the house. And I'll be seeing you after this short break. <laughs> played Spin the Bottle as Nick grabbed his Johnson and gave a Reaper a smacker and Victor got sucked by Vanessa. Uh, later on, you'll be kissing goodbye to two of those three. Just two days before the final. The vote lines are now closed, so don't call in. Instead, why don't you see what the housemates got up to and forget the announcement of the new Strictly Come Dancing lineup? It's time to see which housemates have made the cut in Floors! <laughs> 3.28 p.m. Most of the housemates are in the living room. Wouldn't it be good if we kind of did it all right? I'm sure we'll be all right. If people relax and have fun, then it'll be fine. Chantelle and Vanessa are in the kitchen. When you were in the first time, were you, were you just, like, so dazed that you didn't even think about missing home, or did you get homesick? Oh, no, I got really homesick. Oh, did you? Yeah. Are you feeling it now? Are you thinking about your mum? Is that because we had that conversation this morning? No. Every time you see me, you cry. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. You just go up and down in here, I think. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You do, you're bound to, do you know what I mean? It's been, like, two weeks, you're cut off from, like, everything. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Cos, like, we've, like, we've... What is it, two years? Two weeks have been here today, so... It's long. It's a long yeah, time. Yeah, you know? Look, you, you know, you're going through, you're, you're, you're having a million times harder time than anyone else because you're in this very mm. excruciating situation. Yeah. And actually, you've handled it, I think, 
incredibly well. I don't know how you feel on the inside, but I mean, you, on the outside, you're putting mm. up an amazing show. It's just really hard. Like, I don't know. It's just like, it's just a mixture. Do you know what I mean, I'm obviously miss, you know, I miss mm. mum. You know, like we were saying earlier, I'm really mm. close to my mum. Mm. Miss my mum, and on top of, you know, what's going on with me, mm. you know, in here. Oh, Vanessa, you'll have to become my agony aunt. Oh, I, well, I am your agony aunt. What advice <laughs> shall I give you? Shall I tell you what I would write if you were... Yeah, go on, then. I would say carry on doing what you're doing because you're behaving with enormous dignity. Thank you. Well, you are. In, under incredibly difficult circumstances. Here's my hat, right? <laughs> I take it off to you. I really, and I, I really do, because I think you behave more maturely Thank than you. people of quadruple your age could manage to behave. You know, and you have proved that you are able somehow or other to... Be nice to each other, sleep right next to each other. God, yeah, that's, I think that's what makes it harder that we're not, that we don't hate each other. I think, do you know what I mean? Mm. If we hated each other, um, it would probably be easier to be here, I think, with him. Mm. Because you just keep out of each other's way, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> 4 18 pm. The auditionees have given it their all, and it's now time for the judges to make their decision. Obviously, it's been a really, really, really tough decision, and we have to narrow it down to one. Brian? We have made our decision, and it could be you. Nick? You weren't afraid to just throw yourself in there, which we um, really admire, so... It could be you. Yeah! Nikki. It could be you. <laughs> Vanessa. Yo! Your personality is huge. Could be you. We have chosen our lead dancer, and our lead dancer is... <laughs> Vanessa. Yeah! It's going to be easy peasy. 7.35pm. Housemates have been rehearsing their street dance routine for one hour and 41 minutes. If flawless judge their routine to be satisfactory, they'll win a pumper hamper and some booze. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two. Yeah, I've got yeah. Craig B just cool. I think. If you need, if you need anyone, I've got V just right. a bit or not? You've got the gist, yeah. I've got the gist. You've got the gist. The problem is I'm right at the front. I can't see anyone. I can't. If I was behind you, I'd just copy and blunder around. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, well, um, that is the problem, you see. Well, well, <laughs> there's well, no well, mirror and there's no one in front of me. We'll have a few more runs through. Okay. And then, but it all goes, it all goes quite quick anyway. Brian, Chantel, and Ulrika are in the toilet. Do I feel really bad tonight? Yeah. Oh, come here, sweetheart. Don't be getting there. Come here. Chantel, let's write this off as a bad day. <laughs> Get through this bit. In 20 minutes, this is going to be over. You're so afraid. Sorry. No, I'm just... Well, well it's been since crap. the Vanessa show, I think, hasn't it? And you've been probably yeah. holding... <sighs> trying to keep... Trying to keep it yeah. together. Yeah, totally. She's <sighs> so good to cuddle with those boobs. Yeah, that's quite good. Just one second. Where's Chantel? We're coming. Where's Chantel? We're, she's, we're all in here. We're coming. Oh. Oh. Get her out in there. Just like, you're just like, you've got so many things going for your head. Oh, yeah. shit. Uh, Listen, you need to have, Chantel, you need to have a bit of time to speak to either me or Brian a bit later yeah. on. Get through this and then talk it out. Even if it means turning your mic off for a few minutes, OK? Nobody needs to know. OK? Do you want to get your makeup bag? I don't really want to feel quiet because of the dance. Well, no, I'll tell them that I slapped you. Let's say that I slapped you. <laughs> well, I'll get your bag. Your makeup bag. Yeah, please. Is it in the bottom drawer? Yeah, yeah. Do you need a wig? 
No, I was just wanted to say I wanted to make sure Shanta was all right because yeah, she not. seemed a bit pissed off at the thing. No, no, she's it? not. It's not. It's, oh. it's, it's, it's not about the dancing. Oh, it's not on. pissed off. It's it's emotional it. stuff. Thanks, Brian. Okay, love. Yeah. Thank you. That's what Brian. It's 11 p.m. Chantelle and Brian are in the closet. Oh, are you baby. crying? Well, when you get upset sometimes, there's nothing... Oh, you know, mean? you just can't help it. Just not, like... It's so hard. You know when you just, like, you need to cry? Yesterday. Yesterday, my brain was just thinking about every, my family, about Preston, about everything. It's just like... Zzzz. Yeah, because you have too much time on your hands. Yeah, and, like, in the end, you're just like, oh, my God, like, your head's just, like... Feels like it's yeah. going to explode. You just need to let it out. Yeah. But on the other hand, Chris was giving you the eye a bit in there. No. God, I was too fucking. I was trying not to get upset. Get upset, yeah. But you know the dance? I think so, yeah. Oh, I'm just, I've got no rhythm or no coordination. It's those big knockers, babe. <laughs> Nikki has come to the diary room. How have rehearsals been going? They're good. Um, I prefer rehearsing on my own because everyone's shouting in my ear. I just get distracted. How do you feel about Vanessa being the lead dancer? I'm pleased. I like Vanessa. I think she's good. She's got attitude. She looks good. I just wish we didn't have to wear a joke outfit. I wish we had proper, cool, proper outfits. But I just feel like Jimmy Savile in this, to be honest. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about, a joke outfit. This is really cool. See how the young VZ and her crew get on after the break. Booyah. Earlier on today, the housemates got a little visitor. Me! Take a look at this. <laughs> There's a letter from home for each of them. Oh. But here's a catch. Yes. Before you read each of them their letter, you've got to tell them that they're your favourite housemate. OK. Oh, and you're not live on Channel 4. <laughs> so swear as much as you fucking like. Thanks. I love the tree. I love the tree. Listen, you can see if I pass my task tomorrow night at 8 p.m. But now, for one night only, it's the dancing debut of Flawed! It's 45 p.m. Street dance group Flawed are in position for their debut performance. But can they dance their way to stardom? Cue music, please. Cue music. Three, Here we go. two, one. First pose. Quickly. Three, two, one.
I don't think I'm flawless do it with the screaming. Yay! You alright? <laughs> it was worth it if we passed, alright? Okay, guys, ready to announce the results? Oh my god. Flawless have come to a conclusion, and we have decided that you guys have passed. <laughs> Should be proud. Hold on, Tanny. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Get me out of here, somebody. Take me home. <laughs> Get me out. 9:58 p.m. Most of the housemates are in the kitchen. Seems that we're so few suddenly. I know. Why is that tonight? Who are we missing? Yesterday. Chantal. Yesterday we were like animals on the kind of world food. I don't think Chantal's having a very good day. No, she's homesick. She's very homesick. Yeah, she missed her mum and stuff. Chantal has come to the diary room. Obviously, it's such a messed up situation for me. You know, it's not even my ex boyfriend, it's like my ex husband. And, and it just really hit me today how hard it's been to be, to be here with him. It's really been hard, and um, I think as it's like drawing more to a close, I think I'm, I've just got to start um, sorting out my feelings and my emotions and like preparing my. And I think, I think that's why maybe I'm upset today because I know that I've now got to start, you know, preparing myself for you know when I get out and stuff and. <sighs> Chantal, have you spoken to Preston about how you're feeling today? No, I haven't. I don't... I don't know. I just don't think it's fair to let him know how I'm feeling. I don't want to make him feel sad or... or feel down about it or anything. Um... I don't know. I just rather him not know, really. Chantal, have you found any positives in sharing a house with Preston for the past few weeks? Yeah, um... Like... You know, I really didn't know that I still had feelings for him or, you know, I didn't know that I hadn't got over, you know, the fact that it never worked out. So, honestly, this is the best thing that I could have done for my, you know, for myself, you know, without even knowing it. Because now I know that I can, you know, deal with it. You know, I should have really sort of dealt with my feelings rather than, you know, covering it all up. And I have enjoyed spending time with him. We can, do you know what I mean, be friends and, and still care about each other, but, you know, it's just like repeating history, really, but um, it's just, I suppose it's just a different outcome this time. Ten sixteen pm Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. You all right? Yeah, I'll be all right. Where's that, there's that water there? Yeah, thank you. If you want anything, just call me, yeah? Yeah, thank you. I'll turn the lights off for a bit, that'll yeah. help you loads. Thank you. I need to be in here for five minutes to take my clothes off and stuff, so it's... Preston's got a really bad migraine. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'll turn it off in two minutes. I All just right, need to get you. undressed. OK. All right. Bye. Bye. Call me if you want anything. Yeah, yet. I will. Cos it's the lights that your eyes in. I know, it's going to take me three minutes to get my clothes off. Oh, it's probably the shout and probably won't help him. Yeah, well, whatever. God's sake. This is Big Brother. The storeroom is now open yes. for housemates to collect their rewards for today's task. <laughs> Dressing gowns and slippers. Eyelashes. How oh, lovely. It's amazing. 
Come on, let's put this all on the table. Oh my God, there's what's dressing there? gowns, slippers, and pampering stuff. Thank you. Let's take it in the living room. Oh my God, this is the best prize ever. Michelle, we've each got our own robe and slippers. Oh, that's good. Can you believe it? Got all our own slippers and robes. Isn't this so cool? Where's the, the actual basket gone? Nikki's taking it. That's she. What? Of course she has. <laughs> Michelle, they've got no varnish oh, remover. You get so pissed off. Who's pissed off? No, no, I am. I went in there. It takes me. I need to get dressed with the light on because of my yeah. I can't see what I'm doing yeah. and Chantel's going can't you turn the light off now he's got a migraine I'm like I'll turn it off in three minutes well it's really the eyes that are like, I like I'll turn it off in three minutes oh the shouting doesn't help it's like I've just stood and cooked dinner for somebody for everybody I just like shut up mm. <laughs> 11 56 p.m. Nicky! Put those D cups away, darling. Come on! No. What is it? Mine's in the bathroom. Okay, what does that mean? We follow him. Is oh, you want to follow we him? We follow him. Wherever Brian goes, we follow him, alright? Okay, let's do it. Right, so we're pretending <laughs> it's a task, so okay. wherever Brian goes, we just follow him. <laughs> Again, like, and see how much see if he knows. Yeah. Do, do everything he does. Everything he does. My god, these are hot. Oh, Too hot. hot. It is hot in here, isn't it? Yeah, it's hot in here. It's boiling. Are you putting Brian in the pot? It's intimidating. I don't care. Oh my god, she's topless. Get away from me. What are you doing to me? Chantel, what have you been doing? What do you mean? Why are you been talking to me? What do you mean? What's wrong? What are you talking about? We're just in the bathroom. Well, yeah. Give me some space. You're intimidating me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, we'll go in the pool with you if you want, children. We'll go in the pool with you if you want. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is worse than being in prison. <laughs> oh, I'm actually sweating. <laughs> Please tell them to leave me alone. Please leave him alone. Why not? Do what? <laughs> yes, follow her. Oh, no. I have children. Oh my God! Seriously, you're about to leave me alone, Victor. Please, I'm actually going mad. I'm actually literally, I can't take it. Run, Brian, run! Oh, run, Brian, run! Run, Forrest! <laughs> what have I missed? <laughs> They're following me everywhere. So would you like me to have a stern word with them? Please, Vanessa. Would you kindly leave this young man alone? You're harassing him. He does not like it. We're not actually doing anything at all. Oh We're just having a brisk walk around the Big Brother house. <laughs> that would be so annoying. In our second show, we'll be doing a double take as we evict your fourth and fifth housemates of the series just two days before the final. After that, Darren Brown, hero at 30,000 feet. We can go to him in Leeds right now. So, hi, Darren. What's this show about? What have you got coming up for us? Hello, Davina. Hello, Big Brother people. <laughs> so excited, I'm a Big Brother. Uh, <laughs> it's really exciting. Uh, thank you very much. I'm at Leeds Bradford Airport, and uh, I'm really excited about tonight's show. I've been secretly filming somebody for a month and giving them opportunities to engage with their life at a much richer level. And tonight, they're going to make the decision whether or not to be a hero and volunteer to land a plane that is filled with passengers, so it's all good, light-hearted fun. Thanks very much, big round of applause for Darren Brown! Wow, OK, enjoy your adventures with Darren at 30,000 feet, but make sure you get back to me in one piece, please, for a double eviction at 11.15! I'll see you then. It's going to be really good for Nothing Friday. Nothing we can laugh no. Oh, yeah, I've got to laugh. That's too much coke, it's going straight through me. <laughs> What flavour do you want? Two slices. No, I don't want to. I'm going to have a 
Så ska jag bort och spela på det. Ska han råka? Fuck vad snarare. Det är ju inte det som är sant. Jag är sant. Jag ska bli ärlig. Jag ska få en nice start i det. Ja. 